Hey, pack leaders, this is Heal with friends are right? protecting the family, protecting the back. I'm excited to uh, share with you that I'm done with the um, MVP they would call it the minimum viable product. Um, usually we would kind of just develop something really simple and then throw it out there to see if there's a need and if there's a lot of users and whatever then we can continue to expand on it rather than spending too much time on building a complicated you know whatever and then find out that no one wants it <laughs> kind of thing so uh, this is uh, you know it's been a good maybe one or two weeks to get this done and it is great so I want to do a demonstration uh, and kind of show you what it is and uh, I'm on the simplest uh, server plan and also it might be a little slow loading and whatever and I can upgrade to the faster one as uh, more people come on uh, but right now it's going to be free until I figure out how to integrate the licensing and how to get that all work but just to beta test it and uh, let you guys try it, find any quirks and recommendations and you can post it on below. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, switch over and I'm going to show you um, what to do. Okay, so here's the bot. Um, right now, it's just pretty much safe to use the ammo with that app. Uh, I'll probably have a custom domain later. So, once you uh, create an account and log in, the uh, first thing you want to do is to. Uh, I recommend buying a proxy. Uh, but for now, since that many users, you can just bind your IP address to this one here. Uh, when you create an API key with a uh, Bybit or whatever exchange. So right now, only Bybit works. Uh, so once you get that API key, then you enter it here and your secret key and submit the uh, settings. Okay. Uh, you know, you have to make sure that, you know, you kind of make sure you kind of click on it just to, just so that I think I grabbed it. Uh, but just to make sure it grabs um, the exchange, just kind of select it. Um, should we select by bit? And once you submit that, um, everything's encrypted on the server end. So on the database, I, I don't see any API keys or whatever. It, it comes out encrypted. And, uh, and then when it uses it, it uses it as a decrypted form. So it never exposes your, your API key. Okay. Uh, once that is done, you can then go over our automations. Um, it'll populate what you submitted. You submit the Binance, it will show Binance here. Uh, currently, we support all uh, inverse perpetual and inverse uh, US, I guess uh, they call 
called USDT or derivatives and inverse. Um, spot, I don't know. I don't know if it's called spot or not. Uh, we do not do trade. We do not do spot. I think it's just called USDT. Uh, perpetual and uh, derivative perpetual. Okay. So if one of these USDTs don't work, uh, that's probably because it was a like, uh, spot order, and I'm, I'm not supporting spot right now. Okay. So what you could do is you click on this, and then you click the offset, and once you update the current price, it will update the price to with the offset of the current price. Okay. So let's go with the. I'm just gonna go with something up from here so I can kind of show you because I have coin in there. So I'm trading USDT right now. So I'm gonna show you the uh, update to the current price with no offset. That's the current price. Do you have a um, we do have a offset it will then shift the price over and that's where it's gonna place the order. Okay, so it's fifteen forty eight right now. I'm gonna put an offset of one percent and then it should increase to um, uh, based on um, a buy and market, it'll increase it by a little bit. Okay. So just click on the update. And yes, it's a little slow because uh, it sometimes, like, if there's a pause in the server, they shut down the server. And so if no one's using it, it'll have to reload or launch a new server and then it'll take some time to spin and then once it sets it up, then it'll place the order. Uh, if I upgrade to the big one, it will stay, the server will stay running and you wouldn't have this spinny waiting issue for uh, for it to spin up a new server and whatever. Okay. Uh, so, based on this, if you do uh, market buy, it'll place a, a, an order offset above the current price. If you do a limit, uh, you make sure you update that, it'll put an offset below, so 1563 should run down to 1540 something, then it'll, or 32, then it'll start to place the order down. Um, and you place your order quantity, how many uh, runs you want to put, and then the spacing each run, so I have a 1% spacing with the current price and I'll we'll space it according to that. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and do a market order purchase right now. Uh, let me go ahead and switch over to my my VPS and then kind of make sure my orders are deleted. Alright, 
So I'm going to place the market order. You can place limit order. And then I'll probably do things like you probably have to clean up the, uh, the orders later and all that stuff. So I'll add that later. But right now you can have to manually delete things. Uh, yeah. Okay, 
Okay, so that's all, all I have for now, and, and, and that's how it's going to work. And um, try it out. You see any bugs or whatever, try the um, perpetual USB T contracts. And I, I haven't tested it on that. I've only tested the, um, the inverse, inverse contracts. Try the other USDTs because I don't have any coins in there right now, so I haven't tested it. But it should work. If it doesn't, let me know. Uh, 